Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I'm going to show you how to speed run the new Polestar Replay Expedition. So you see my guide, it took me about two and a half hours, two hours, 20 minutes, but we can get that time really, really down low. So you have about a week to do this, you guys. So if you want to wait to the last minute, I would not recommend that. Don't do that. But if you are busy, you got other stuff going on, I'm going to show you the fastest way to get this thing done. No problem. No worries. Now, we're going to do this. We're going to treat it like a traditional speed run. So I'm not going to use any of the extra like rewards we've gotten. We're not going to use anybody's uh, base or anything like that. We're going to do a straight up run. That way, anybody can do this at any time. You don't have to worry about finding a certain base or if you're connected online or if you have any rewards. None of that stuff. Don't even worry about it. This is going to be a traditional run. And as you can see, my timer is going right there. We're going to see if I can get this down under an hour and a half. Maybe less than two hours, but definitely, hopefully, under an hour and a half. So this is the uh, Polestar Expedition. This is a very focused... Uh, expedition on the freighters on all the different things that they've added to the freighters this happened in uh, I believe July of 2022 last year and so it's really really cool they overhauled a ton of stuff here and I'm not going to go into much detail on what we're doing or why we're doing it I'm just going to show you how to do it if you want to know why to do it or you know an explanation of stuff Go look at the guide. The guide will give you, it's a little bit slower, but it's more in-depth on what you need to do, when you need to do it, all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to skip through all of this stuff just to show you. You need to get that log. There you go. Then we, of course, you need to accept some of these rewards because you need some of them to proceed on to the next step. So we're going to do that real quick. We need to repair vital uh, things right there. So we're going to go to our freighter. We're going to fix this right here, the atmosphere. Boom, we're going to keep that, keep that done. All right. Get rid of that. There we go. We should get that. Come on, give it to me. There we go, done and done. Where's my ship at? Okay, over here. We're going to accept that reward as well. Launch fuel, repair kits, antimatter, all that kind of stuff. All right. So before I go too crazy here, you want to make your backpack refiner. So at least put it in and then put your chromatic metal because I'm going to leave my chromatic metal on my uh, freighter and I won't be able to get it unless I come back. So we need to go land on a uh, planet. It doesn't matter which one you land on. You just need to land on a planet and get some scans in. So we're going to go to the nearest one just to get it knocked out. And I mean, technically, oh, we're next to a uh, we're next to a minefield or an asteroid field, asteroid belt. So let's get our 30 asteroids right now this will help us later on oh it's gonna give us a lot of gold a lot of silver we're also gonna need to buy a lot of silver and gold as well for some items later on let's get these i, I always aim for the smaller ones i know <laughs> i just instinctively have to tell you guys what i'm doing when i do it but i i instinctively go for the smaller ones because they they still count and they're easier to just get rid of real quick so if you want to get it done quickly, aim for the small asteroids. Just knock them out. All right. We should be close. There it is. Now we need to just go land on a planet. Now we need to land on a planet. That's part of the milestone. But while we're here, we're going to scan a whole bunch of stuff. We're also going to get all of our resources. So we're going to do some flybys to knock out a lot of like carbon, ferrite dust, that kind of stuff that we're going to need later on. But for now, because we need to, well, some of the milestones, three of the milestones are scanning animals, scanning rocks, scanning plants. So you got to gotta do all that. Let me see if I can make my refiner. I can. There we go. Knock that out. We're going to scan. Just start scanning everything. Animals, rocks, anything you can see. So the first one, you really want to just go all out, scan everything you can. It's going to take a second or two, but, you know, it's going to take extra time on your on your run, but it'll be worth it later on. 
And especially when we get up in the air and we start firing down on the ground to get our resources, you're going to get all those secondary resources as well. That's always a good thing. Always a good thing. All right, boom. And you don't have to get any particular animals. Like, you don't have to get only flying or only underwater or whatever. You just have to get animals in general. There we go. There we go. Now, if I would have landed next to a cave, I could have knocked out a lot of minerals. Because cave rocks, the stalactites and stuff, are also really good. We're going to go third person. That way I can kind of see what's going on. I didn't see any... Uh, yeah, I don't see any of this stuff. Let's grab that reward real quick. We're going to need that one. Here we go. What do we get? Mining beam. I'll take that. We're going to make some room for our scanner as well because we're going to need that. I'm going to pop that over here. And we have our protections going. And remember, your hazardous flora counts as a plant. Sodium, your yellow and red plants, oxygen, those counts as plants as well. So don't forget, whenever you land, you can totally take advantage of that. Let's do that. Boom. There's an animal right here. Just trying to get as many as I can. No, no, no. We don't have to ta attack any sentinels as far as I know. As far as I remember, no sentinels are on this or whatever. We're gonna need some sodium. So let's grab some of the sodium over here. Oh god, man, my jetpack boosts are terrible today. Dun dun dun. We're also gonna need some of that amazing um dihydrogen, but we don't need to pick that up. We can shoot that when we uh do our flybys. But for the most part, you cannot get like the when you do your flybys, you're not gonna get in general sodium and oxygen plants. You can't destroy them, you have to pick them. So you're going to want to pick them while you're here. Here we go. I did that one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's another mineral right there. Now that sentinel and sentient plants is not going to count. It is an item. Here we go. Mineral again. Dun, dun, dun. So now we are pretty much set. Where's my ship at? There it is. So I think we I feel comfortable about all we've grabbed so far. We got some sodium. We got some oxygen. I'm feeling pretty good about what we have. But we're going to do some flybys. Here, give me that. There we go. And we're going to look for caves as well because we need some cobalt for later on. So, and you can only get cobalt in caves. I mean, you can buy it as well, but you want to try to limit the amount of things you have to buy because we're also going to need to get a whole bunch of frigates for our freighter. There we go. Get these uh, crystals just in case we need them later on. Dihydrogen crystals, the blue ones. Here we go. Up. Oh, we also gonna need a lot of uh, condensed carbon, so get these red crystals right here. And again, you see that red plant? Not really gonna do anything. You can't damage it, so it's really hard to get oxygen unless it's a secondary. If it's a secondary item, that's why we scanned all these rocks and stuff, because we'll get a whole bunch of good stuff out of the secondaries. go and this is just to make our life easier later on you know and this is the fastest way to do it because we don't have any upgraded uh multi-tools so that's why we're doing it this way you're getting it super fast you're getting a ton of materials right off the bat easy peasy you're getting a lot of uh, oxygen we're getting a lot of carbon i'm liking all of this getting a lot of this dihydrogen we're gonna need that later on I think I could take out the... Nope, I can't. Did not do enough damage. There we go. Really? I hate it when the rocket goes through the ground. Because then you're like, oh, come on. Really? That was a waste of a rocket. 
All right, so we got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Oh yeah, look at all that. Look at all that. Got our magnetized ferrite. We're getting everything we need. Look at that, done and done. We're gonna need to get some gold and some silver, but that's not down here. So we've done that, we've done that. We need to construct a refiner room. We got that from landing on the planet, so we can do that. We need to warp with our capital ship, construct a, a, a room as well. So we need to go do this. So let's go do this real quick. We're gonna go to the space station. And uh, the reason why we're doing this is we need some uh, navigational data. We can also sell some stuff, get all that stuff done. But most of the reason is we need our navigational data. So we're gonna go through all the cubes and stuff to grab all of that. We're also can sell some stuff, make some money because we're gonna need some cash for later on. Let's do this. Okay, so while we're doing this, that's good, that's good. I need to organize this stuff that way I know what's what. Look at that, we have 4,000 ferrite dust. Good Lord, that's ridiculous. All right. We're also gonna buy some silver and gold from here. We're also gonna need to buy some uh, wiring loom if we can if we can get it if we can get it. We can sell that. We don't need that. We don't need this. I'm just selling stuff that I I think I can get some cash for. So this is not gonna be a forever save. This is just gonna be hey I'm just trying to get it done as quick as possible. That way I'm good. We don't need the liquid sun. We can sell that just to make more room in our inventory. Technically. All right. So we're going to need some cobalt. We're going to need an amino chamber for later on. We're going to need some wiring looms. Let's get five. Um, we're going to need some uranium because that's going to be our fuel. We're also going to get some copper. Oh, we only have. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to use this to make a uh, more chromatic metal. There we go. Done and done. All right. So now don't even have to worry about it. Let's look around. Do we have any cubes? Anything? Oh my God. Really? This one is not going to have anything I need, huh? We're looking for cubes or any kind of thing on the table that we can search to get navigational data. Not going to happen though. I don't think. Come on. Definitely don't have any upgrades going on. If this was the, uh, the looper one, would we be in, you know, we'd be set and ready to go. I don't see any of them in here. Come on. Okay, you got to check the back room. Navigational data. Where is it? None. 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 Well, you guys suck. You guys just wasted my time. I got nothing. Whole lot of nothing in here. So don't worry about the first one. Does it, this desk usually has one? Nope. Doesn't even have one here. You suck. That's fine. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope. Nope. We're looking for round discs. Or like a orange or a uh, blue cube. Well, that's great. That's okay though. And then we're not going to get out and fly because that takes extra time. We have an animation. We're just going to load in right in our uh, our freighter just from here because the uh, the loading time is faster than if you got in your ship, flew out there, landed, had to run up the stairs. Look at done. Construct a refiner. Got to get in here. Now we're going to need some jelly so we can do that. Where's my jelly at? There we go. I think two. We'll see. Refiner room. We need two jellies. There we go. That's why we were shooting all the dihydrogen jelly earlier. And we got our silver. There we go. We got our gold. There we go. Done and done. Got to take that reward because we need to use the blueprints we get from there. Storage room plans. Now we need to make a storage room. Right here. So silver and sodium. That's why we got our sodium from the, the planet when we were there. There we go. Done and done. Beautiful. Now we need a interstellar scanner. We can make that right now. So let's do that. That is going to be a technology upgrade. So we're going to need to actually slap that in there. Boom. And we have some uh, repair kits. So we're going to do that. Oh, nope. We don't have any repair kits. Wait a minute. Did I accept all my rewards? I did. Okay. So I used it already. Well, that's okay. We can still install it. I thought I had repair kits, but I guess not. Let's do... Well, done, done, done. Screw it. Just get it done. Done and done. Now in here, we can get some, uh, some more carbon. This is going to be useful later on.
there we go. So now we are pretty much set. Let's grab this. Got our upgrade, powerful thing, blah, blah, blah. All right, so now we just need to warp with our capital ship and get to rendezvous number one. So what we're going to do is we need to make a whole bunch of this stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Am I missing components? Condensed carbon? Well, we need to make some condensed carbon then. So let's grab our carbon that we have there. Oh, yeah, we need to refuel it. There we go. We're going to make some condensed carbon. We're going to move some of this stuff over. Like, this goes in our freighter. This goes in our freighter as well. This can go into... Oh, we're going to need to condense that down. But that's okay. Oxygen. This goes down here. All right, beautiful. I like to keep all the important stuff on my person, my character. Because then you can always build it if you need to. But for this stuff... And I organize it. That's why I'm doing it manually. I have to put it in a certain spot. That way I don't have to worry about, oh, where is it? I have to search for it. Don't have to worry about that crap. We're going we're gonna to condense down our cobalt and our uh, copper as well. All right. So we need to make some fuel. So we're going to do this. Five of those. We also need to make some antimatter. One, two, three, four, five. Three. We need chromatic metal. So that's why we got all that copper. This goes in here. Take it, drop it in. All right. So now we can refuel our freighter. Oh, let's uh, use this. That way we're good. Pulse engine upgrade. Yes. Thank you. And. It's broken. We're going to have to fix this thing. Oh, no! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Antimatter housings and chromatic metal. We need 250. So let's grab this. We're about to get to 180. Oh, God. I've already screwed up, you guys. I've already screwed up. I wasn't paying attention, and I used the stuff I needed to keep. That's okay, though. That is okay. Because now, this, we're going to have to refine this stuff anyway. So we might as well go. And I believe the space station is right here. Yep. So we also need to get some gold and some silver as well. Can't have too much of that. We're going to need that for building stuff later on. Done and done. I was so worried about refueling my... Uh, Hyperdrive. I didn't even pay attention to what I was actually doing with it. Exosuit. 180. We need more than that. These guys might have it, so I could just do it real quick. If not, I have to go upstairs anyway for the teleporter, so no harm, no foul. All right. Offer to trade. Uh, chromatic metal. Oh my god, I don't have any money. That's why. Okay, sell. Oh, damn. I should have brought some stuff with me. I didn't. I didn't for like a fool. All right. Selling the gold because we need to buy his chromatic metal. Here we go. Done and done. This is why we also need the teleporter on the freighter, because then I could have I could have sold all the stuff in my freighter inventory, but I didn't, because I couldn't. There we go. Done, done, dude. 18 minutes already. Wow, we are going slow, slower than I was hoping. Oh, we got this, we guys. We got this. Freighter, fix this thing. Beautiful. Now let's use this freighter warp map to just go. Now, you're going to only be able to do one jump because you don't have any upgrades. But the cool thing is, once we get the upgrades, now, you know, once we warp, we will get an upgrade that makes your, uh, your warping way more efficient and you're good to go. So make sure to get this reward when you land here. There we go. And, and it will give you a warp upgrade. There we go. Warp, warp hypercore upgrade. There we go. We also got something else we need. We need to keep... 
Now, I'm going to tell you right now, you need to keep this warp hyper core for later on. Do not use it for anything. Keep it. So, dude, don't don't mess around with it. Don't like uh, use it for anything. That is something you need to keep. Here we go. Oh, we have our silver and gold in here. Oh, man. Okay. Well, we have that already. I didn't even think about it. All right. There we go. Done, done, done. Okay. So now, now that we've uh, upgraded it, it'll go even farther. We don't have to worry about going one at a time. We can just hit this one right here. Boom. There we are. And we're going to try to hit these rendezvous really, really quick. Because every rendezvous gives you a ton of nanites, which you're going to need because we need to uh, recruit people to our squad. Recruit, a recruit aliens to our squad. And then usually at a rendezvous, you would talk to the commander. Don't need to on the first one, so we're going to ignore it completely. We're going right down to the rendezvous. Don't even worry about them. There is no log to do. On the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, all the other ones there are. But we already did our log, our first log, so you don't need to do it here. Again, why is it not highlighting my rendezvous? There it is now. Thank you. That's rendezvous number one over there, but we're also going to have to refine that cobalt into ionized cobalt. We're going to need that later on. Um, I think we're all set for everything else. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, we could stand to get more silver and gold. We're going to need a lot more of that, but we can sell this stuff and make some more. So I'm not too worried about it. We're going to move that stuff around. And you're going to notice that I'm going to I'm gonna take all of my upgrades and I'm going to sell them. All of my inventory upgrades, I'm going to sell them. I'm doing that on purpose because I want to make extra money really easy. If you want to keep them and use them, go for it. But you're going to be hard up for cash early on in the game. So... Maybe don't use it all. Oh, nope. We still need, a, I think, 150, so we're good. I'm just going to go the whole way with it. Done, done, done. Make sure everything is full and filled up. You're good to go on all of this. Yep. So, Cobalt Mine. Again, you could use this if you want to, but I'm not going to because you might not see that, uh, that Cobalt Mine on your playthrough. There's going to be hundreds and hundreds of uh, bases, but they can't show you that many. So instead, what they do is they pick 20 at random, and they'll show you 20 of them. And so you're going to see different bases than I see, and that's fine. All right, again. We're going to look around for animals and plants that we might be able to scan. Don't see anything here. Oh, wait a minute. There's an animal. That's a, definitely an animal. That's weird. All right. So the other thing we're going to do while we're here, this second one has ac easy access to a lot of the stuff we're going to need. So we can get down here, scan some minerals, scan some animals, scan everything we need. But also, we're going to get what we need to make our submarine because we need to make a submarine later on. So analyze eight min minerals. Got it. The other thing you want to do is when as soon as you unlock those... You want to accept it because you will get a scanning upgrade for that. And a scanning upgrade will actually give you more money every time you scan something. So definitely, definitely install that quickly. Now, it's going to be randomized, so sometimes you won't get a good one. Like, I didn't get anything for rocks, which kind of sucks. So every time I scan a mineral, I won't get any extra money for that. But that's okay. I'll get some for animals and for uh, plants, probably. And those are the ones I need anyway. Let's scan some more. Do we have any animals or any plants? There we go. Plant life. There we go. There we go. We're also going to need some salt. Let's grab this as well. We're going to need 100 salt to make our submarine. That's what we're doing just to make it easy for ourselves. Watch out for those jellyfish. They will mess you up. So just keep that in mind. Oxygen level critical. That's okay. We have some kelp right here. Hey, hey, give me that kelp. Thank you. Any other animals? Any other plants I can scan? Nothing. Nothing that I can see. Off the bat. Yep, yep. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And we're going to need some extra 
cl uh, of these uh, crystal sulfides. So grab as whatever you can. Done and done. Now you don't need to use your uh, your submarine. You just have to get into it and you're good to go. So no worries on like you don't have to like make an antenna. You can if you want to. But the way we're doing it, the way we're running this, you shouldn't have to. So I'm not worried about building anything in the submarine. I'm just worried about getting the heck out of here. Let's go. And while we're here. I'm still getting nothing real. I got some, I got a whole bunch of, uh, okay. I'll wait. I'll take that. Whole bunch of carbon. I'll take it. There we go. Done, done. Call in the frigate or freighter. Land on it. Grab all of my rewards. Got it. Thank you. Nope. Don't need that. And then, boom. Rendezvous number two. Now we're going to go rendezvous number two. Before we do it, though, let's unlock some of our squad. We have 5,000. I think we can only do the first one. Oh, no, we can do the second one as well. There we go. So the third one is going to cost us 7,500 nanites. That's why you want to do all of your uh, rendezvous as quickly as you can. Let's keep going. Boom, boom. Out of jump range. That's fine. We'll just go here first. And then we'll jump right to it. Now, again, I am kind of explaining some of this stuff, but if you really want the details on what you're doing, why you need to do it, where you need to do it, whatever, just, you know, I will... There's a guide that you can you can use. Boom, boom, boom. We need to sell anything. Oh, dude, we do need to sell some of this stuff. Starship. This goes in the freighter. Um, Starship. Um, Boom, boom, boom. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, guys. Making a battery because we're going to need some of this later on. This goes in the starship. All right. And you know what? Let's see. I need to make a uh, commanding fleet thing. So where is it at? Fleet command room. There it is. Let's do this real quick. We're going to need to send some missions out. So let's talk to it. Dun, dun, dun. Download the data. Now we have some fuel. Now, guys, I know this is going to be, quote, unquote, an exploit. But anybody can do it. So I don't consider it an exploit. But what we're going to do is, in order to get the missions done, we need to send them out on three different missions. But in order to get it done, I'm just going to send them out. And then call them back in immediately. Because as soon as... It doesn't matter. Once you've sent them out, it counts. And you just need it to come back. So make sure to debrief. Abort the expedition. And then debrief. And that way you can send it back out again. And that one. Then we need to do that three different times. And it will count. So just keep that in mind. This is kind of an exploit. This is just to get it done really quick. Because... You have, you're under a time crunch. You want to get this done quickly. Do it. Just do it. Dun, dun, dun. So this is going to be our second one. And, I mean, this one's nice. It's, it's only three this time. The original run of this expedition, you had to do eight of them. And there's only five per day. So you literally had to wait till the next day in order to finish it. So this one... It was a nightmare to run on a speed run. At least now we can do it and have it completed. So you can finish the whole uh, expedition in a single day. You don't even have to worry about, oh, I have to wait till tomorrow to get new missions for my uh, my frigates. You don't have to do that. You're fine. So we'll do this real quick. Make sure. And then once he's done, you're good. And debrief. And it should be done. There it is. Three fleet expeditions. Let's grab that item out of there. Now, did I get it? 
I did not get any nanites for that. That's fine. Let's go to the next rendezvous. And on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the space station. We're going to sell some stuff, make some money, because we also need to be on the lookout for some frigates for sale. And so we need to have the money before we do that. I only have 50,000 on me, so I definitely need the money for that. Let's do this. Grab this. Dun, dun, dun. Ship's longs just to get this thing out of the way. And it'll tell you what you got. Okay. So now we have blueprints for the orbital exocraft materializer. We need to make that. That is one of our milestones that we need to do. So orbital exocraft uh, ionized cobalt warp cells. We have that. How do I not have ionized cobalt? Oh, it's in my backpack. I hate that they don't count the stuff in your backpack. It drives me crazy. All right. We need a warp cell as well. So boom. And we only need one. How many do we need, actually? Um, Exocraft materializer. We need three, actually. So there we go. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. It doesn't need to be anywhere specific. You just put, I put mine at random. You know, you don't need to know where all of it is. You don't need to put it anywhere specifically or whatever. So now we have our submarine blueprint, which is awesome. Um, deploy a submarine, construct a teleporter, but we need to deploy a submarine first, or we need to get down there first before we get that. Discover plants. We need to scan more plants. That's going to be a big thing. All right. So make sure my freighter is full so I don't accidentally use it. This needs to go on my starship. Starship. We're going to sell all this extra crap we don't need. Starship. This goes over here in our fuel. That way we can use that for fuel. And double cultivation chamber. We need these things. They're all required. So we need all of that. There we go. Wait a minute. Not on my freighter, though. This needs to be in my uh, starship. Because on my freighter, I can't use it because I can't teleport. All right. Let's go down. We're going to go to the space station first. Oh, wait a minute. We can grab uh, one of our guys here. One of our squad mates since we've been here. Now, you'll see that sometimes you won't see anybody land on your freighter. You need to be, you know, like, it, it, you cannot move for a certain amount of time. So you can't just, you know, call in your freighter and then, you know, have people on it. You got to give it a good minute or, minute or two after you've moved your freighter for it to register and for people to start landing on it. Where is my... There you are. Of course, we're too close to Pulse Drive. But too far away for it to be really fast. You know, 10 seconds, whatever. Come on. Sell some stuff. Make some money. So we need all of that. But we also... This is... Oh, no, no. Not that. This. Salt. Crystal sulfide. We're going to need some uh, metal plating as well. We can sell all this stuff. Make a ton of money. Hopefully, we can buy some, uh, some freaking gold and silver here. So we're going to run over here to this side just to see. Oh, wait a minute. Navigational data. Thank you. Oh, that's not navigational data, but okay, I guess. That's the nanites as well. Thank you. Don't need the nanites. I need navigational data. There you go. Oh, this one has a lot. Okay, I'll take all that. I will take all of that. So that good. That good. That good. Um, yes, 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 and yes. All right. I think that's everything we can sell. Um, dun, 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 dun. All right, well, we're going to buy some more cobalt. We're going to buy not mango gold, maybe lemium. We're definitely going to buy five of those just to get it done. Don't need any chlorine. Don't need any of that. Okay, we're good. Not any gold or silver per se. I mean, I, there's stuff I could buy to make all of that, those items, but nothing per se. All right. Now, these guys might have gold or silver. Give me some gold. Give me some silver. Come on. And he has chromatic metal. I might take some of that. And I will take some of that. 58,000. Let's buy two of those. Done and done. Thank you. We have any more uh, cubes over here? None. 
None, none, none. Okay, great. I was looking for cubes. That way I can uh, get some more navigational data. Um, dirty bronze. Yes. Mango gold. Yes. That's how we're going to get our gold and silver. Oh, oh, never mind. We got gold right here. Dang it. You know what? We're good. We're good. We don't need that much. Any cubes in here? Nothing. That's okay. We still have plenty of time to get our crashed ship, and that's what we're doing. We're trying to get a crashed ship. We need to we need to find one, and we also need to scrap it as well. So not just find it, you gotta scrap it. And we bought that that right there. Boom, that'll give us more of silver. There you are. There we go, right here. And we're going to take that silver out, put it on our starship, and we're going to put the mango gold in there because that'll give us gold. There we go. 250. Okay, I'll take that. Not not the best. Not 500, but I'll take it. So it says Rendezvous 2. It's going to be around here. It's not exactly, but hey, I'll take it. There it is right there. You see the crash freighter. You kind of see it before. Now, the trick is you can just land on the freighter itself. If it's sticking out like this, watch this. You don't have to worry about landing on a piece of land. Come on. Thank you. That is a weird landing, but okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. We need plants. I don't care about that. Give me some plants. I can scan. All right, done and done. I need some plants I can scan. That's a plant life. Animals. Animals. No plant life that I can see. Wait a minute. We have to make our, uh, our submarine. Wait a minute. We need to be closer to this guy. Oh God. I have all my stuff in my, uh, my starship. I thought it was far. I thought I was close enough. I guess not. There we go. There we go. We've we've made it. Let's get inside. Did it work? Yep, freedom of the seas. There you go. That's all you need to do. So the other thing you could do is if you need it, destroy that platform. You'll get back all your materials that you used for it. So if you need to, like if you need those crystal sulfides, you're good to go on that. Any other animals? So we need to land somewhere and get some more plants. That's a plant. That's a couple plants. There we go. We got another one. But we need more plants. We need more plants. So that's why we're going to go over here. Oh, really? You're going to glitch out on me here? Come on. I don't know why it was like, it's, yeah, the hitbox on this thing is crazy. All right. We need more plants. We need to get more plant life scanned. So we need to find some more land. Oh, that's a good land mass over here, right? Are these plants? Oh, there's plants on here. We can also scan some animals. I'm hoping. I'm praying. Here we are. Here we are. Remember, again, your sodium, your oxygen, all of it counts. That animal right there. Come on. We, I'm really focused on trying to get those plants. That way I can do my double cultivation chamber. That's what we're, we're trying to do. There it is. Done and done. So let's grab some of this. Oh my god, I got so much stuff I already got. Done. I know. Done. Done. There we go. We got some stuff we got to sell. 
So, again, going back to the space station. Where are you at? Space station. It should be right next to our... There it is. We need to go over here anyway. Don't need that. We do need to move that. That way I can do Humboldt Drive. Don't need that. We can sell that and get some nanites for that. So we might be able to knock out our other thing. We got some other stuff to sell. Oh, yeah, we're good. Actually, you know what I just did? I just did something stupid. Let's let's call in our uh, frigate or freighter. Let's go to the next system. I've already been to that space station, so we don't need the money right now. What we need to do is we need to get a whole bunch of stuff ready to go. Done. This goes in the freighter. Freighter. Starship. Starship. Freighter. Freighter. This needs to be refined. We need to keep that. This needs to go in our freighter. Okay. Just moving some stuff around. We need to build some stuff. We need to get this stuff ready to go. All right. Let's construct a teleport chamber. Oh, need to get over here first. I usually try to look at the recipes. That way I know if I have it or not. But I'm too lazy to right now. So that's what we're going to do here. Antimatter. Two, three. And boom. Teleport chamber. Done. Easy peasy on that one. Did not line it up how I wanted to, but oh well, whatever. There we go. There we go. And then for your uh, double cultivation chamber, you're going to need to make some ferrite or uh, pooprite. Sorry. Uh, coprite. Um, what is it called? <laughs> I forgot. But in order to get that, you need dihydrogen and you need carbon. Pecium. I knew it was some poopy name. All right. Done and done. So we need that. We got that done. So remember, carbon do, uh, dihydrogen. Carbon dihydrogen. There we go. It's like oxygen, silver. Again, that's why I got some silver earlier. We're going to need a lot of silver, a lot of gold. Gather the carbon. So we're going to need to make some more condensed carbon. So we're going to need to put this in our uh, refiner. This needs to come out. There we go. Need to put in half. That way we can make some more you know, carbon, condensed carbon. All right. So we're done with that. Now, the only thing I will tell you is I will not be doing the optional milestone, which is to land on a friend's uh, freighter. If you want to, there's a video in the description that'll tell you how to do that. Basically, get in a group with a friend, have them call in their freighter, and you're good to go. That's all you need to do. So that's that's the quick version of it. You don't need to really, you know, go crazy with it. Do I have enough? 44? Nope, we don't have enough. Okay. So now... Look, look at my freighter, my... Oh, yeah, we're good. Let's go to the next one. Oh, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't have to talk to him. He doesn't have nothing to do with it. Let's keep going with our expedition route. We should be able to run into it pretty easy. There you are. This is going to be number three, I believe. We can get this knocked out pretty easy. And again, remember, you got to talk to him, the commander for the log. You got to make sure to hit him every single time. Whenever you get to a rendezvous location, he will have a new log for you. So don't forget. I always, I seem to always forget that. I'll run halfway down there and go, ah, oh, crap. I'll be like halfway to the rendezvous planet. All right. Let's go down into the rendezvous planet. I don't think we can do anything. Stellar extractor. We get that from the planet. Okay. Recruit pilots to your squad. Yes. All right, we need to shoot down pirates as well. Now, we're going to go to a pirate system, and I'll show you how to do that once we get a little farther in. But we don't need to do it right now. What we do need to do right now is make some money. Wait a minute. Did I leave all that stuff on there? Nah, that's good. We're good. All right. So we need to sell some stuff, make some money. We're only at $2 million. You're going to need, like, $10 million minimum in order to buy all the freighters because you're going to run into a lot of them that cost like 1.5, 2 million bucks a piece and we need five. So you're looking at minimum probably 10 million just to get your freighters, not counting all the other stuff you're going to buy for resources and that kind of stuff. So just keep that in mind. Let's go check for 
we could also check for our awesome, uh, what's it called? Navigational data over here. Like, nope, not here. Not here, not here. Great. There's no nav data here. Oh, nope, there's one there. There's one here. Now, I say there's one. We don't know. It might be nanites. That's fine, too. There we go. That was probably nanites. Yep, that was nanites. But I always check this back room because there's going to be cubes and those little circular discs that could give you that as well. Not always. Like, not now. This one sucked. That's fine. Oh, you suck. I only got one. That's fine. All right, we're going to sell. Done. We're going to sell the rest of that fusium. We don't need it. We're going to sell this right here. We don't need the... Oh, we need the crystal sulfide. We're going to keep that. Exosuit expansion slot and waterlogged aquamarine. There we go. We can sell the uh, salt. We don't need that. Um, Silver and gold. We're going to buy... Any more silver, any more gold? We have some silver here. Let's buy that. And we don't need dirty bronze because that'll give us silver. And so, yeah, we're good. Let's go. And now we have a teleporter on our ship, our freighter. So that's awesome. Where'd my ship go? Did I walk by it? Right here? Okay, yeah, right here. Let's go. It should be the rendezvous right here. Wait a minute. Gonna highlight it. Make sure it's highlighted. That way it marks it for us. We do need to keep scanning for animals, so we everything else we're okay with. Come on. There we go. Oh, I didn't make any of my nanites. Oh crap, I should have done that. I could sell all this for nanites. And I probably could have gotten my Ah well, we're not too I'm not too worried about it. Alright, ionized cobalt here. We need to get some more uh, carbon so we can get some more condensed carbon. We're going to need more fuel, I believe. Ah, we're at 65. We're okay. I don't think we're going to need that much more. All right. We have repair kits. Oh, yeah, I probably could repair this at this time. Yeah, I could probably repair that and be good. Oh, man. I should have done that. Ah, well. Live and learn. But remember, the key thing is keep that warp hyper core. Keep it. Do not use this for fuel at all. If you do, you're going to have to find a storm crystal, which is a pain in the So don't do it. Don't do it. Let's see if we can get another one of these salvage datas. We need four to five. I want. I like having five because five is pretty much guaranteed you're going to find a crashed uh, ship. But four, possibly, probably. Three, maybe. You have, uh, you have good odds, but it's not a guarantee. Five, you guarantee. All right. So can we land on this one? Yes, we can. If you ever see this rounded piece sticking out, you can land on it. If it's under the water, you're kind of screwed. You can't land on that one. So then we could just hop down here. And you'll notice I use my jetpack for that because you go really quick. The problem is you come back up really slow, but that's okay. We're looking for animals, so we want to go a little bit slower. No? No? One? Okay, two. I'll take two. I'd rather have more, but I'll take two. Come on. That's why I made some uh, life support shells earlier. Come on. Anybody flying? No? Of course not. Why would you be flying? Make my life a little bit easier. Oh, wait, wait. How many are we up to? Let's just freeze while we're doing this. Go, go, go. We got our, our thousands of nanites. We are 77. We're good. Too close to planet. There we are. Done and done. We are actually going through this a lot quicker than I was anticipating, you guys. A lot quicker. Yeah, we're going to do this. We have these. We bought those specifically, but we're going to fix that, fix that. We're good. Now we can go back and forth with our freighter without having to be on it. That is a huge plus. 
That way I don't have to worry about constantly landing on it to get items or whatever, what have you. All right. Now we need to move on to the, the Stellar Extractor room. Stellar Extractor right here. We need, we have everything. So silver, gold, magnetized ferret. There's a pattern here, guys. Silver and gold. Make sure you get all of that. Silver and gold. Ton of it. You're going to need a ton of it. Let's grab this. We need to get some pilots as well. So it's been a it's been a second. So uh, again, on purpose, I went through that so I can give them time to land on my freighter. But we also need to unlock that last one right here. Manage squad. Unlock this last one. So now we have room for all three, but we need to recruit them. So hopefully we have some guys landing. You've had time. There it is. There's a couple right there. Beautiful. Now, I'm not really picky, especially when you're trying to speed run it. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to recruit a specific type or level or whatever. You just have to have three of them in your squad. Boom, boom, boom. Recruit the life form to squad. Ooh, he's an S-class. There you go. Come on. Pop it for me. There you are. Let's grab that. Now, we need to shoot down some pirates. That's okay. We don't have to do that yet because we need to go to a pirate system. We need to construct a scanner for that. That's why we waited for this long to do it. We need to make our scanner. So let's do that real quick. This will help you find a pirate system. And there you go. Silver gold ion battery. Dude, silver gold. Again and again and again. I will keep saying those are the most important materials in this whole thing. Now we can make a galactic trade room as well. So let's see what we can do for a galactic trade room. We need two microprocessors. We could totally do that. You know why? Because we have our recipe for a microprocessor. All you need to do, microprocessor right here. If you want to, you can read up on it. One carbon nanotube, one, uh, 40 chromatic metal in order to make one microprocessor. We need two, so we need to double that. Done and done. So now let's make our trade room. This is important, too, because now we don't have to land on the space station anymore. We can sell stuff and buy stuff from here. Easy. Easy peasy. So let's see what we can sell. We can sell that. Good. We can sell that. Good. We can sell this. Awesome. Let's see what else we can sell. We can sell these frigate fuels. We don't need those. Keep that war piper core. Keep your crystal sulfides. You need all of that stuff. All right. We're good on all of that. We made six million units. We need more than that, but that's okay. We're going to grab that. Grab all these rewards. Also, let's grab our... There we go. Now let's sell some stuff. We just got a whole bunch of good stuff we can sell again. So, um, there we go. There we go. There we go. We're up to 69. There you go. <laughs> nice. All right. So now we have our scanner. We can get down to shoot pirates. What we're going to do is we're going to go towards Rendezvous 4, but on the way, we're going to be looking for a pirate system. That's what we're going to do. So let's get into our warp drive. We're looking for... We're going to follow this road all the way up here. And right around here, there should be a pirate system. Let's see. Now that we have our scanner, we can see everything about the system. There it is. So now we can tell this is a pirate system. It's out of my range, though. So we might need to jump a little bit closer and then get right next to it. Oh, no, this one's perfect. It's in my range. So you're looking for that skull face in the uh, description of the uh, system you're going to. Now, and you won't see that until you put the scanner in. That's why we waited until we got our scanner. That way we're good. So now that we're in a pirate system, well, let's go kill some pirates. We're going to make some money. Also, we might be, well, excuse me, we might be able to buy some frigates for our system, but we're going to see if that works out. Hopefully it does. At minimum, we can get our pirates done. So that's what we really are focused on right now. Get these pirates done. Let's get in here. That one, at least I can warp to this one. Now there is a trick for this. If you go to the bounty board, the bounty guy, the bounty master, sometimes he will not have any pirate hunting missions. That is okay. Just accept over, you know, accept another mission and then cancel out of it. it. When you cancel it, it throws it away and it'll bring up a new mission and it has a possibility of being a pirate hunting mission. 
So let's do that real quick. Let's see if we have one. Come on. Load up. There it is. And we do not. That's okay. So again, all you got to do is accept the mission and then cancel out of it because it'll bring you another one. It'll, it'll basically give you another randomized one. There's no pirate missions on this one. So let's keep doing this. You can do this over and over again until you get your pirate mission. The pirate hunting mission. Um, dun, dun, dun. Oh, man. I'm, I'm accepting all this and I'm trying to cancel out, trying to get my pirate mission. There we go. Abandon. No pirate missions. Are you kidding me? All right. This is definitely bad luck on my part. They usually, it's a randomized thing, so it's not a guarantee. But, man, you think that they would give me one eventually. Come on. Abandon that mission. They keep giving me the same stuff. Come on. Pirate mission. Pirate hunting. Let's do it. Are you joking? <laughs> Come on. Come on. We're going to see this. See this through. Pirate hunting. Hunt and destroy. That's what we needed. Good Lord. That was a pain in the neck. Good Lord. I can't believe how long that took you guys. I mean, I can, but it's kind of a pain. All right. They'll put a skull where you need to fly. And then when you get there, it'll trigger the pirates to attack you. And, oh, wait a minute. We have a, um, we have six million. Let's see if we can get any, uh, let's see if we can get any of these out of here. We need five. Oh my God. There's a lot of them. Now I don't have a lot of money. That's the issue. So uh, hopefully I can get some out of here. If they're really cheap, I might be able to squeeze it out, but maybe inspect the freighter. This is 2 million. Oh, that's not going to be cheap. All right. That's one. All right, you, you, buddy, come on. Um, another two and a half. Oof, we can do a, one more that's less than two and a half and we'll be okay. But we're still going to need more money. So again, <laughs> make that money. Inspect the frigate. 2.2, um, .2. okay, I'll take it. All right. And the other reason to do pirate missions is you will earn money for doing these missions. Or at the minimum, they will give you items that you can sell and make money. Wow, this is far off. That's craziness. That's 20 seconds away. You're killing me. That's okay, though. Come on. Holy crap. <laughs> but yeah, so when you complete this, so make sure to finish these missions. Go all the way back to the bounty board and turn it in and you will get money for it. Why is this so far away? Good Lord, I even have upgrades on my thing. Jesus. Two, one. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's all right. There we go. And uh, immediately what I'm going to do is dismiss my squad because they always just get in the way. I don't want my squad around because I end up shooting them half the time, and that's a pain in the butt. So don't worry about them. And I'm using all the basic... I don't even have any upgrades on my ship that they haven't given me yet. So, guys, all you need to do is knock out their shields with your photon cannon and then rocket them. And they will be good to go. And they will give you six for each mission you do. So I'm going to get six pirates on this one. And then I will do another mission. And I'll just have to do two and we'll be good to go. All right. Give me this. Give me that. This is number four. Oh. Number four. And they're also going to give you randomized stuff like that. Beautiful. Come on. They always come, you know, from behind. They always spawn behind you. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to be flying too fast. Here we go. We got... We got shield batteries for that one. That's fine. I'm trying to get some freaking money out of these guys. Get out of the way. See, you already, I already have people trying to help me, and they're always just in the way. There we go. That's number six, I believe. There we go. Finish it. Go back and turn it in, and we'll get some money out of that. Let's see what we got out of the uh, drops as well. So we got that. That's nanites. Nothing, really. Okay, we got some black market stuff. We have to get rid of this. 
because this black market items will get you caught by the sentinels so we got to sell those he's going to go over here yeah the sentinels will come after you for that so you know we're good on all this stuff i wonder if they have any navigational data i'm going to sell some stuff maybe they'll have navigational data for me that way i don't have to worry about this nope nope Of course, I'm behind it. Dang it! Now let's see what we need for our... Oh, we only need one more one more uh, freighter. Oh my god. One more frigate. So if I get about a million... You need at least 1.5 million. So if I can get up to that, mo that much, I might be able to make it. Now, theoretically, you want to have like 2 or 3 million because the chances are it's going to be like 1.7, 2.1, whatever. There we go. Just sold it all to get out of here. Give me back my mission. Let me complete it. And in the mission, give me another one. Thank you. Storm Crystal. That's a good one. I make a lot of money off of that sell that and what else can i sell i can sell vector there we go boom 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 didn't get that much money i mean i'm up to 900 900 000. oh look at that mother there's a freaking exotic right here tempting me to buy it i don't have the money and i need to save it anyway man i want that freaking exotic that would have been helpful I hate my freaking shuttle. My C-Class shuttle that sucks. <laughs> now I'm all mad. Dang it. We need to get some more gold. We have enough silver. 500 plenty. So we need some more gold. I think we have enough carbon. Condensed carbon. I mean, technically, we could do this. You can turn uh, oxygen into carbon if you need to. Again, I don't know why you would. Because oxygen is the most important deal on the planet. It is the hardest thing to come up with. But if you need, absolutely need carbon, you can turn oxygen into carbon. Again, oxygen is so hard to come by, I would not advise against it every single time. That'll be such a... You, don't, you do not want it. All right, get rid of my squad. But yeah, you don't want to do that unless you have, like, an oxygen farm... And you have so much of it, it's just, like, ridiculous. I can't believe I missed that shot. There we go. I made up for it on that one. All right. I can't believe I missed my rocket shot. All right. Let's do this. I should have used my rocket on that, but I was just like, nah, screw it. Go, go, go. And I mean, we have it. Yeah, see, there we go. It pops. But I'm going to try to complete this. That way I get some freaking cash. I need to buy one more frigate. So that's why I'm doing this. I wouldn't normally care, but I need the cash. One more frigate and we're done with that one. That'll be good. Here they come. Knock out that shield. Boom, boom, boom. There's the other guy. Do it to me. You really want to get the shield down before you use the rocket. But I, you know, I overheated because I wasn't paying attention. That's why I used the, uh, the rocket on him. Done, done, done. Let's see what we got out of here. I mean, we got a couple things we can sell. Not too worried about it. We're good. So we can sell that. 
sell that and get some nanites out of it. Not a lot of cashola. That's fine. I mean, I, I want it. But, I mean, if we don't have it, we don't have it. Oh, wait. Excess suit. Excess suit. Excess suit. We could sell that. And it's still, again, bounty master. What are we doing here? Why are we going this way? And... <laughs> I mean, I don't have enough money. There's no way. I have less than a million. There's no way. If I get over 1.5, I will come back out here and be good to go. But if not... Oh, wait a minute. Duh! Maybe I should accept my rewards. That way I could literally sell this stuff. All right. Get some money for it. All right, all right. Fleet beacons. We have all this stuff. Starship shield module, launch thrusters, and pulse engine. I mean, pulse engine, I want. Because pulse engine will make me go faster while we're warping, or while we're pulse driving, so that's actually good. Everything else, we're going to sell it. No, no, no. Give me that. Storm crystals. So you can't do that to get storm crystals. <laughs> Um, let's sell. Oh, look at two million. There we go. Perfect. Storm crystals will make up the difference right there. Boom. Beautiful. Perfect. Let's go out and buy another freighter or frigate. Uh, we're at three and a half. We got plenty. Plenty. Oh, yeah. Let me destroy this. I'm not going back in there, so we're going to destroy it. And they should be right behind here. There you are. One of these guys will be for sale. Come on. There you go. You're going to be the lucky one, unless you're more expensive than three and a half million. <laughs> Please don't be. Don't be more than three and a half million. Um, 1.9. There you go. Beautiful. That's all I needed. Need to get away from it a little bit. Calling my frigate, freighter. Grab that one. Salvage. There we go. Look at all this stuff we got. All this money. There you go. All this stuff. Navigational data. We're going to need that later on. Beautiful. So now let's go to the next rendezvous. Oh, man. Hour and six minutes. Guys, we have this all locked. This is going to be easy. So what we need to do is rendezvous number... Wait a minute. We have that one done. Rendezvous number four. That way we can get that one done. This one should be pretty easy to get to. Move right here. There we are. We're going to do rendezvous number four. Get this knocked out. We're also going to go to the space station. Again, we're going to try to get navigational data. That way we can find our crash ship and be good to go. I am hoping navigational data is going to show up really easy for us. Come on. There we go. Go to the space station and you have to go to the space station. I would buy it from the terminal. They don't sell it usually there. I would go to a trade, you know, all this other stuff, but you also need to get the planetary chart from over here. So that's why I am doing it this way. Come on. Get in here. We can sell all that crap and sell all this. We need to keep that. Ionized cobalts. We can put this in our, uh, our freighter. We're going to need that later on. This needs to come over here. That way we could sell it. So, let's look for this uh, awesome... There we go. These cubes. We need five. Come on. Navigational data, please. For the love of God. Navigational data. That's one. We need two. One more. One more. One more nav data. One more nav data. Two. There we go. Beautiful. That's all we needed. 
All right, let's sell all of our crap. Get all those nanites out of there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get distress beacon charts. Because that a you know, distress beacon is anything that needs in trouble, meaning a crash ship. The problem is it's randomized, so it'll give you a crash freighter. It'll give you a crashed ship. It'll give you anything that does a uh, that does a uh, distress signal. It will give it to you. That's why you want five, because then there's only five different versions of things you can get. Abandoned buildings. There you go. And just keep tapping it, and then keep tapping it. Freighter crash site. So we got an abandoned building, freighter crash, a distress signal, which could be a pilot, or it could be a crash building or crash not a crash building. A crash ship on its own. Observatory. There you go. We're going to sell this thing. We're going to buy anything else that I need. Nothing. Okay, good. We're good on all of that. We still have our warp cell. That's what we need. Here we go. So we are cleaned out. We have enough room for a scrap. So you're not going to know which one's which until you get close enough to look at it. But what we can do right now is we I know we're going to need a hermetic seal. We're going to need a metal plating. We might need a dihydrogen jelly. And if we don't, I can just trash these items. And we're going to need some pure ferrite. Anything when you first have to fix your ship in the beginning of the game, those are the items you're going to need. Those four items. Metal plating, hermetic seal, by hydrogen jelly and fit pure ferrite. Those are the things you're gonna need. I don't I don't need that one. What I do need is this stress beacon. Oh God, really? All right. This is a moon, so it's not that far away. Technically it is. Oh, this might be a crashed ship because someone marked it with a com ball. I like that. So that, that's already looking good. This looks like it might be a crashed ship, which I appreciate. Let's get over here and land. And uh, you, look, you can see really close. There's nobody walking around. There's no alien walking around it. So there's no crashed pilot here. It's just the ship itself. And if you go up to it, there you go. That's how you know. If you can interact with the ship itself, that means you're good. All right, come there. Claim ship. Now we need to fix the yep, FC minimum hermetic seal, metal plating. We're also going to need pure ferrite. And there we go. Boom. So now we can take off. Let's go. So now we need to go back to the space station, scrap it, and we will get our, uh, our next achievement, our next milestone, whatever you want to call it. Don't care about the storm. I'm out of there. All right. So now we have our crash ship. Done and done. Now, it's going to give it to you in this inventory. I should have waited. Oh, yeah, look at it. We have a, sh a shield that works, an S-Class shield. What you can do is pre-package this thing. And you can use it on yours. There you go. Life support module. Yes, I'll take that. Multi-tool. Nothing else in this inventory? Okay, good. We're good. And you have to scrap it. You can't just claim it. There's a whole separate milestone for scrapping this thing. So you have to come back to the space station and scrap it and we also ha we have a pre-packaged s-class uh shield module for our our primary ship i like that i like the fact that you could just take it now you can't take anything that's broken like if it's broken it's just as sorry it's permanently in here until you fix it so if it's broken don't even worry about it but that uh that shield was actually fixed so two million right there that would have helped us earlier but that's okay though we didn't need it so now we can sell all this stuff. The C class stuff. We don't need any of that. And then our ship should appear. Yep. See, it'll go back to your original. You're good. Now let's go back into grab that, that one right there. And then rendezvous point market. There we go. Easy peasy on all this. We can sell that. We can install this. Don't know why we're going to need it, but we can do it. 
This needs to go into our freighter. And freighter, freighter, screw it. Uh, freighter, freighter. This is a good shield, so we'll do this instead. So we'll move this over here. Shield. I don't know why we need it, but I saw it was an S-Class. That's why I took it. It's an S-Class. I can't stop it. I, I can't help myself. I got to do it. So we are almost up, up to four, and it's only been an hour and 14 minutes, you guys. We're basically done. I mean, we just have to do that last phase. We have to get to the rendezvous point, of course. Got to do the last phase, but we are prepared. We are ready to rock. We got everything. Oh, yeah. Let me look at my fuel. Oh, yeah. We have our our, uh, our hyperdrive is full, 45%. That'll get us there. We have all the materials. You're going to need ionized cobalt, and you're going to need your crystal sulfide. So don't get rid of those. You're also going to need one more item. I, My brain. I'm trying to rack my brain. I think I have it. I think you need either sil silver or gold or both. To make the uh, the drive, the hyperdrive at the end. This one, is it above the water? It is above the water. Easy peasy. Oh, yeah, we need to scan animals as well, you guys. Oh, I almost forgot about that. I'm all excited because we're getting all this stuff knocked out early. I need to scan some more animals. So let's do this. Rendezvous four. Let's look around for animals. There you are. Any other animals want to appear for me? That'd be great. Not you. Not you. There we go. That's two. Oh, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Where's my ship at? Up here. Easy. We got that one done. Let's grab this. Oh, I hate it. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It automatically sinks you if you're in the water. Oh, I forgot about that. So let's get out of the water first before we claim the next one. <laughs> I don't want to sink back down to the bottom. I'm trying to swim up. Dang it. There we go. So now we can claim the next one as well. And we have our thing right here. There we go. Fecium. Now, if you want to, you can do that early. That way you get your fecium to make your double cultivator. It's easiest just to just freaking, uh, what's it called? Just to make it with carbon and dihydrogen. Just do it that way. It's way easier. You don't have to worry about anything like that. Get to that rendezvous. We're, dude, guys, we are at the end. We are at the end. We don't need that. We don't need this. We can sell all this stuff to make money, but we don't need to at this point. We don't need any more money. We got everything we needed. So we are totally ready to go. So let's do this. And then we need to warp to the fifth rendezvous. When we get there, we'll do our uh, captain's log. And the captain's log will give us a recipe we need to get out all the other milestones. Guys, I'm pretty sure, knock on wood, we're going to get this done in less than an hour and a half. Less than an hour and a half. Dude, this is going to be really short. I love it. I was hoping for under two you know realistically i was like okay it might take me two hours to do this but hour and a half i like it i'm liking it a lot there we go ships long the singularity engine that's what i was thinking of there we go read the final log where's my ship at there we go and i mean if you do the optional milestone it will give you some uh, uh, extra heads up. It'll give you more money. So doing the optional milestone landing on your friend's frigate or freighter, that will give you a heads up. The problem is I don't want to, I want to assume somebody doesn't have the internet. They don't have friends to go land on their, their base or anything like that. So, or their freighter. So I want to make sure everyone can do this and you don't need to do that. Honestly, you don't need to. There we go. We have to talk with this commune with the, uh, the thing here, da da da, and it'll give you the blueprints for the singularity engine. Here we go, done and done. Don't shoot it, because then the sentinels will come in. You don't want that. All right, crystal sulfide, warp hyper core, ionized cobalt. We have it all. So you guys, and because we can, we can install it wherever we want. Warp hyper core. That's why we didn't use it. Crystal sulfide three, ionized cobalt one twenty. Easy peasy, done and done. So now, technically, all we have to do is land on here, on the uh, 
on the rendezvous. Get this one done real fast. And then we are set. So, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm doing this. I don't know why. We don't need to anymore. And pop this down here. I always like to put everything lined up. You know how it is. So, and then we can install that again, the analysis visor. Now, I, if I remember right, you cannot land on the freighter for this one. It's fully submerged. So we're going to have to actually swim out to it, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. But hey, that's okay. You know, we, this is the last one we really got to do. We already did this. So we'll do that in a freighter. Freighter, freighter. We can sell all this stuff. And I'm, I'm literally just doing this to, to waste time because we got to wait for a minute before we even get over here to the beacon. I think we're good. Yeah, we're all good. We are all good in the neighborhood. There we go. Oh, I should have been paying attention to that, though. Should have been paying attention to that. There we go. Perform a gravity. Shoot. That's it. That's all we got to do. Hour and 20. Good Lord. This is this is basically a really good speed run. Hopefully, I could do this on a live stream because I like to do it live. That way you guys can see it's for real. I didn't edit it. I, I mean, hopefully the timer kind of tells you that I did not do any edits or anything like that. Because there's, no, there's no edits. There's nothing here. Literally just a countdown timer and me playing and doing everything as quickly as possible. I am rushing. There's a there's a, uh, a pressure factor on this. But hey, if you want to get it done, like you... Oh my God, where's the nearest piece of land is going to be over here? Probably. Um, yeah, we're going to call it here. This is the one. Want to land anytime now? Thank you. Now, what we got to do is we got to run this way. A thousand feet. Oh, God. Now, if I did have my submarine still, I would have been able to call it in. The problem is I got rid of the platform. When you get rid of the platform, watch. You don't own it. You have to keep a platform at random. So as long as you have a platform somewhere, you're good to go. I got rid of my platform, so if you don't have a platform, the game believes that you don't own it. You don't have a submarine because you don't have a platform. You need to keep your platform. That way I could have I could have called in my thing. I mean, technically, I think, can I, can I even build one now? I don't think so. And no, I can't. I don't have the salt. I got rid of the salt. That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. It's going to take me an extra like 30 seconds to a minute. I'm still impressed with how fast we got this done. So I am not on a speed run. I will try to remember this, but this is just a get it done as quick as as physically possible. And this is pretty dang fast. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is pretty quick. Get it done in an hour and a half. I mean, realistically, hour 27 probably. If I'm if I had to guess another five minutes before we're technically finished. Maybe. Good lord. I am... This is killing me. How long it's taking. Come on. I should have got my submarine. Dude, I can't wait. Submarine is definitely going to be part of this. Oh god, do we have any uh, kelp around here? There we go. Just look for the white glowing plants. That's your kelp. There we go. Just get close enough to where it triggers. That's all I want. I don't care about doing anything with it. There we go. Done. Oh, we got our cool rock music. Turn that up. Oh, yeah.
All right. I always love that rock music. That's amazing. Uh, and so it actually might take me longer because uh, I'm already... It took me like three minutes to do that. Just go back and forth. Definitely recommend keeping your submarine platform. Just lay it down. It doesn't have to be in the same system. If I put a submarine platform down anywhere in the universe, it will always... I'll always be able to call it in. Because it'll the system will know, oh, you already own one because you have a platform, you know, a thousand light years in the other direction or whatever, in this other random system across the universe. But because I got rid of it, it kind of screwed me. To the end and beyond. We're going to do this. That way I have something to fly up to. There we go. That way I don't have to pulse drive out of here. That's another fast way to do this. Because we have to come back up here. We got to talk to our commander. And he will trigger that for us. Let's get that one. There we go. I'm loving it, you guys. Hey, you know what? Technically, we might be right. We might be right. One hour, 27 minutes. Under an hour and a half. Under an hour and a half. If you rush it and you know what you're doing, you just... Follow the uh, steps I laid out. You're good to go. There we go. And engage the singularity engine. Beautiful. There we go. It's like a black hole now. Dude, this is really bright and flashy. Might be bad for people. So keep that in mind. Yeah, like he, he gave me a, a cool salute, even though I was like floating in the air. Now this is what we're gonna do. As with all speed runs, get in and out, make it safe. And it doesn't stop until we see the last one right there. Boom, stops. One hour, 26 minutes, 19 seconds. And just to show you, I didn't miss anything. Phase one is completed. Phase two is completed except for the optional milestone, but it's optional, you don't have to do that. Phase three, all done. Phase four, all done. Phase five completed. There we go. I'm going to grab the rewards for that. And we have also have the, uh, the rewards. Boom, boom, boom. And all of it done. All phases complete. We got our companion egg as well. All of it done. And just to show you how fast it was. Mode select. Yes. No, we did take an hour and 26 minutes in real life to do it. How long do you think it took in the game? In game time does not include any of the loading screens or if you go into a pause menu, it does not count any of that time. It only counts when you're playing the game, not in a menu or in a loading screen. So it'll trim out all those little warps and everything like that. How long do you think? Hour, eight minutes, hour and eight minutes. We got it done almost in an hour. Almost in an hour, literally in real lifetime, an hour and 26 minutes. So hopefully you guys use this guide, get this one done. I can't wait to see what you guys, you, what you guys do. Comment down below. How fast did you do it? I did mine an hour and eight minutes. You watch the whole thing. Hopefully you guys can speed run it and tell me your times down below. And I will see you guys next time.